right now at the Kennedy Space Center press site. As you can see in the background here. I just thought I would do a quick vlog because that's what um, all these other really cool people seem to be doing. Um, and since I'm kind of like the little fish in a big sea here for the press, um, I thought that I would uh, rec record some of what's going on here. I uh, wish I were on the river right now where all the regular people are waiting for the shuttle to go up. They just bumped it up an hour and didn't tell anyone apparently. So we've got 28 minutes until the launch. So I'm going to give you a little tour here of uh, what I get to uh, sit around and witness for the next two or so hours here. I've been doing a lot of playing on my phone, a lot of reading, a lot of talking on the phone, lots of nothing really. So uh, let's experience what it's like to be press during a space shuttle launch. tripod set up. Like, they're all lined here. You have your VAB building over here. That's where all the good stuff goes down, you know. And then you have, like, every news crew and their brother over here. And then, behind that is a building that says, like, NASA news site. Yeah, inside there. Yeah, that's where all the big guns are. New York Times, USA Today. They're all there. Yep. Did Seminole Chronicle have a seat? No, but you know, I got to be in the same room with all the best journalists right now in the country, so I can't complain. So we're getting an inside shot of the space shuttle that's all out to launch here in 28 minutes. Anyway, let's see if I can zoom up here. The space shuttle is right across the water here. Can you see it? I see it. The launch pad's over there somewhere. Yep, that's a guy. I should really stop filming this guy. I don't even mean to be. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out now. Okay. Anyway, uh, there's your little uh, backstage glimpse here. Everyone's getting ready for the launch to go. From what I hear, there's some news crews fighting over locations, which I think is hilarious. Uh, other than that, I'll take you around to see the big clock here. He wants a stupid picture of this clock. It's like a big digital alarm clock. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see here. 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes till launch time. And that's all folks because I gotta go claim my spot before. Okay, I'm back for round two because I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Okay, see this clock? That says like nine minutes. But NASA just tweeted that it's still at 4.50. What are they doing to me out here? They're really confusing me. And all these news stations, you would think that I would know what was really going on. But no. I'm surrounded by news stations, and I don't know what's going on. Unbelievable. I'm going to take a little walk and see if I find anything cool. Check out these guys. They look like super professional. They're fancy ties. They look like ESPN guys. I don't know why. I'll zoom up. Everybody over here, super official. Looking good, looking good. Oh, there's Channel News 13. I've been looking for them all day. I should go hand them a resume. Just kidding. I'm not going to do that. It's really tacky. Okay, and uh, here we go. Kennedy Space Center, Telescience Laboratory. Do do. News crews, news crews, news crews. Okay. Okay, so it's official. I'm the only person walking around recording themselves, which is super cool of me. But we just found out that they, I guess they keep the clock at like a holding time. And they continually put that clock back at 10 minutes. So after this nine minutes is up, they put it again at 10 minutes. So NASA has a really great way of confusing us little people over here. So uh, thank you, camera crew guy, who just explained to me the situation. Appreciate that. Don't know what news crew is with, but he had a big camera, so I'm assuming he's important. All right. I'm going to go look for something else interesting to include on here before someone thinks I'm talking to myself, which is probably all of these people over here. So, yeah, bye. press room and show you what it looks like and I don't want to talk in there so here we go.
goes right on down the back of the yeah, Chris Minor, thank you very, uh, very much once again for being with us today and uh, helping to talk us through the, uh, the loading and the, uh, all the various procedures that uh, we've taken. Uh, Excuse me. And that was the press room, and I look like a freak. Congratulations, Jessica. You have made yourself look incredibly unprofessional. Yay, yay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and walk through all of these news crews like real champs. Just so you all know a little backstory here. I've pretty much stripped down. I started out with high heels and a sweater and a black shirt on. Now I'm down to like just my spaghetti strap and some pants and some flip flops I brought because I'm a smart Floridian and I know better than to wear high heels all day in the hot. We layer here in Florida. Anywho, here we are amongst the, uh, the big boys of the uh, news industry. I'm gonna go ahead and walk past all of them and go back to my little nook over by the water where I'm gonna get an awesome picture. Ta-ta! Okay, so I thought this might be fun to document. There's a film crew about to start filming right here. And I think it's kind of funny. So, hey, Fox 35, doing a live broadcast that I'm not invited to be in. Maybe I should nonchalantly walk behind him doing the cha-cha or something. How awesome would that be? Anyways, so uh, that's what newscasters wear. Who knew? I thought they had, like, a wardrobe budget or something. Doesn't look like a wardrobe budget, it looks like stuff from The Gap, just saying. All right, gotta go. Okay, I just want to document this because this guy is carrying like the biggest cameras ever. Can we all see this? Hey, let's talk about the douchebag who put up his tripod right in front of me. Hello, tripod. What's happening? I was definitely sitting right behind that tripod, so I went ahead and moved myself right in front of him. I see a battle, my friends. I see battle. 